你好 ，Welcome to today's lesson. I am so excited about today's lesson. You know why? Because today we are going to learn Chinese character. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't worry. A Chinese character may look very complicated, but、um, I will tell you that it's actually very exciting to learn and it's very interesting. Each character has its own story. So in each Chinese character, in most of them consists of two parts. One part is called radical. The other part is called phonetic element. Okay, and this radical gives the whole character the basic meaning. Yeah, and the phonetic elements, of course, is provide the basic phonetic sound of that character. Okay, and usually,、um, in majority, you can see two types of combination. Okay. So the first one is up and lower combination, like this. The other type is left and right combination, like this. Well, of course, there are also many other patterns of Chinese character combinations, but let's learn from the most basic one for now. Radical facts number one. Why should we learn radicals? Now I'm going to give you an example of why it's important to know radicals. Okay, so I have a very classic example for you, and it's easy to understand. Let's look at this one. Ma, ma is mom, mother. Okay. And you can see that this character is consists of left side and right side, right? So on the left side,、um, this is called the radical. It is a radical of this character, and the meaning is female. 女女 Okay, so it makes sense, right? Because mom is female, yeah. So that's why in this character it has this radical.、Hmm? What about other characters? Hmm. Seen here, there's a lot of characters, and we don't know what are they. But see, we have a clue because we just learned that nu is a radical means female, and in these each character they all have this radical. So even you don't, you never learn these character, but at least you have a clue that oh, they are characters related to female, right? So, for example, this one will be sister, younger sister, May, younger sister, May. This one will be Jie, older sister. 姐 older sister, and this one, 姨 auntie, 姨 auntie. Look, so they all characters related to female. So when you know a lot of radicals, you will be able to guess, or you will be able to、uh, find them on the dictionary. All right, now let's try to learn our first radical here. Okay, so this one is 水水水 means water or liquid. Okay, so as you can see, it's like three drops of water. And then how to write it will be showing in the video. One, two, three, three strokes. Okay, so this radical means. Water or liquid. Okay, so if I give you a little test, I give you four characters here, and I know that you never learned these four characters before. But if I ask you, can you pick 
the character which means river, river. And do you know which one is that? Can you guess? Yes, it's this one. It's the first one because, as you see, it has the radical water, 水 And obviously, river is related to water, right? So you know that one is the answer. See, Chinese character is not that difficult as you imagine. So, in this video program for Total Beginner, it's going to have a series of videos teach you the basic radicals and characters and basic writing skill. There are more things in the video about Chinese character, and I also got the PDF for you to download so you can practice them at home. Great! So I hope that you will have more idea about Chinese character and how important it is to learn Chinese radical and characters. Right. So use this discount code in the description box to get thirty percent off. Remember, it's time limited. Looking forward to see you on board.